All right, here we go with our video for 9.1. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Naming ions. All right, so the first one we're going to talk about is monatomic ions. And mon comes from the oops, mono, which means one. So monatomic ions, right? Mon from mono, which is one just means one atom and you guys know a bit about this already so one of the kinds are cations right and if you recall your cations are your positive ions and generally they're the metals in group one two and then all the way over in 13 right if here's our periodic table we have group one group two then group 13 is that first one here in the b block with things like boron and aluminum right and they'll tend to have a positive charge of one two or three so plus one plus two and plus three and naming these are very easy the ion name is the same as the atom name followed by the word ion so sodium would become a sodium ion calcium would become a calcium ion and this we've been talking about for quite some time so this uh that part shouldn't be too difficult at all all right anions now these i've talked about a lot but just kind of in passing or saying we'll talk more about it later and a lot of this you still know however so like anions tend to be your non-metals and they'll have a negative charge my way of remembering it that i always told you is anions a negative ion right a negative ion anion uh, the group 17, your, your uh, halogens, tend to be a minus 1 charge. Group 16, that's the group oxygen is in, tends to be a minus 2 charge. Group 15 will tend to be a minus 3 charge. Uh, these, you take the ion name, you take the atom name, and change whatever it's ending in to Ide. For example, fluorine will become fluoride. Oxygen will become oxide. Bromine, right, B-R-O-M-I-N-E, will become bromide. Right? That's why you'll hear me say when we talk about salt, right, N-A-C-L. I won't say sodium chlorine, I'll say sodium chloride. I'll talk about the positive sodium ion and the negative chloride ion. I'll talk about how chlorine gains an electron to become chloride. All right, finally, your transition metals. Now, for the most part, they'll become cations, and many can form more than one cation. For example, iron, right? You'll see something written as iron 2, where in parentheses you'll have a Roman numeral 2, right? I-R-O-N 2, if I'm handwriting it, the computer does it like this, is F-E or iron plus 2. Iron 3 would be iron plus 3. Sorry about that. So it's F-E plus 3. Little typo there I missed. Okay? So... Anytime there's a number in the parentheses, it tells you the positive charge of the cation for that transition metal. All right. So for these, to see all of these, I'm not going to expect you to memorize anything because it's all on your periodic table, right? Or you have your oxidation states, it might say plus two, plus three, etc., up in the top right. All right, finally, <clears throat> we have what's known as polyatomic ions, right? So monatomic ions, mono meant one. Poly, you guys know, means many. So this is many atoms, or at the very least, more than one. So a polyatomic ion is an ion composed of more than one atom. And if you look at your reference table, table E is your selected polyatomic ions. And, and it looks like this and here's a bunch of them so you don't have to memorize but you have to know how to use these so like h3o plus is a hydronium 
ion. We've talked a bit about NH4+. Plus. That's an ammonium ion. If you remember, that's when you had, here's nitrogen bonded to three hydrogens, and you have this lone pair, and another hydrogen comes along and joins the party with your coordinate covalent bond, and the whole thing's got a positive charge. Okay, that's your hydronium ion. Now, these polyatomic ions behave as a unit. Okay, the bonds be within that polyatomic ion are all covalent. Okay, so this nitrogen is covalently bonded to these hydrogens, but the whole thing behaves as one ion. I like to think of it as a molecular ion. Right, that's molecular ion. Sorry about scribbling where the words were going to come up. Okay, so these you're going to kind of need to get used to using table E and like some of the common ones that we'll see more often are things like carbonate, ammonium, hydronium, uh, nitrate and look here at the difference between nitrate and nitrite okay so you got to pay close attention when, when you hear these or, or read them you don't want to make a mistake nitrate is NO3 minus nitrite is NO2 minus the whole thing and both of them has a negative one charge but the nitrate has three oxygens while the nitrite has two oxygens Okay. Something similar in sulfite and sulfate, right? SO3 2 minus is sulfite, SO4 2 minus is sulfate. Uh, let's see. Chlorines are very interesting. You have hypochlorite, chlorite, chlorate, and perchlorate. When I was in school, I had to memorize all of these. What a pain in the neck it was. But here, ClO minus, ClO2 minus, ClO3 minus, ClO4 minus. Same charge, but increasing amounts of oxygen. All right, uh, this one was kind of a simple one. Uh, be sure to write down any questions you might have. Uh, if you need to go back over something, as always, feel free, and I'll see you guys in school.